What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. I said more horrifying fun from the museum today, guys. Here on a Saturday morning. Hang out down here in a museum and checking out another fantastic Mego monster offering. Guys, we like to give our good friends at movie posters, etc. Movie posters, etc. Guys, this is where we purchased this beautiful figure, Bride of Frankenstein figure from. Guys, if you haven't checked these guys out yet, Go to their website, movie posters, etc. I'm finding all of my fantastic Mego monsters from these guys. This is just the latest, newest, hard to find one out of the Mego monster line. Uh, this is one, another figure that I've been really eagerly anticipating. I missed out on the MC Toys uh, Bride of Frankenstein figure years ago. And I'm sure uh, as a lot of collectors did. And now those figures on the secondary market are just absolutely astronomical. So the cool thing about Mego is that they have remade these universal monsters so everyone can get in on the fun. And this is huge, guys. Uh, this, this is huge because like it, it, you're talking price point, you're talking a lot of things, but more importantly, you're talking about the fact that you can have a Mego action figure now uh, something before three years ago we just we simply couldn't wrap our minds around so it's really cool to have Mego back in the, the 8 inch action figure game and it's even cooler that Mego is really starting to crank out these universal Mego monsters I believe she has a striking semblance to the actress that played the Bride of Frankenstein. I was at uh, her name is Elsa Lanchester. Um, the Bride of Frankenstein. It's a fantastic movie that came out in 1935. So this is a franchise that's really has has held its popularity, maintained the popularity, and in 2021 we're still reviewing and checking out merchandise from a movie that was made in 1935. Miko did a fantastic job on this figure. And the way they have her situated here on the card is because of her hair. You know, the Bride of Frankenstein had that that really big hairdo so she, they couldn't, they have to tilt her face to the side. So we'll get, we'll tilt the card here so we can get you a straight shot of, the, of her face here. Now, a lot of people are going to say the, the green color of the skin. I've heard some people saying that they don't really like the, the green color of the skin. We want your thoughts, though, guys. What do you think about it? Did Migo get it right? Let us know in the comment section right underneath this video. You can see she's got this cloth gown on, but she's wrapped almost like a mummy, like she was in a movie. So her body's got these wrappings on it and around the arms. And then, let's see, it doesn't go, you can't see, She's it covers her, so... But you can see her feet are wrapped as well. She's got this long gown on here. 
and then the arms are wrapped. I believe the whole body's wrapped, though, guys. I believe the whole body's wrapped. Let's get you a nice shot of here. The collectors love the close-ups. See, she's got some blood here alongside of the the ear and the jawline. Like I said, there's that hairdo. Like I, I, that iconic hairdo. It's on the female body. So you can see the hands are small. Card art. Once again, I love the fact that they're taking actual live shots from the, the movie. See all the equipments get you blown out. Look here at the card. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I love the head sculpt. And we're going to turn the card around to see who did the head sculpt. But if you missed out on the MC Toys uh, Diamond Select Bride of Frankenstein, uh, I don't see too much of a major difference, maybe in the color of the flesh tone. The MC version wasn't green. Who got it right, though? Did MC get it right, or did uh, Migo get it right? And I believe... Uh, it, the MC toy version was going off of because it's it's a black and white movie, so I think that's why they gave her more of a a a, a white skin tone, a grayish skin tone as opposed to this skin tone. Uh, was she supposed to be green in real life? I mean, it's, it was a black and white movie. Your thoughts, guys. Your opinions. Uh, we want to know all that. If you have any information. Leave it in the comment section, guys. We we enjoy reading the information. We enjoy reading the input and really interacting with you guys with the comments. So we would like to hear your thoughts on this. Let's turn her around. Get you a blown out look here at the back. That's just a fantastic shot. Uh, great card. Excellent card art. Like I said, it's, it's coming from the actual movie. You see the brides on the table here. Frankenstein definitely needed a, a companion. Here's the bride of Frankenstein. Uh, guys, it's, it's, it's so cool to have these Mego monsters now. Mego's really stepped their game up. We're getting the monsters that we've always asked for, that we always wanted. Let's get you a sculptors of Sean Sampson. Seamstress was Rachel Baker. And the consultant was Dr. Migo. Here's Marty Abrams. But fantastic. Still shot here of the movie made into a card. And this is why, guys, I can't bring myself to take these off the card. The cards are so beautiful. Turn this back around, guys. Fantastic work. I am curious to see what other monsters are on the way. And I know we have a werewolf on the way. Um, I'm curious to see what else we have on the way from Mego by ways of uh, universal monsters. Maybe a universal monster mummy. Um, that's something that a lot of collectors are really clamoring for, uh, discussing, talking about, excited about. And the sky's the limit. 
now that Migo has the licensing rights or we know they ha they might have some of the licensing rights because we're seeing Universal Monsters now, uh, I'm curious to see what else uh, that Migo is going to bring out. What would you like to see Migo bring out for a Universal Monster? Let us know in the comment section, guys, right underneath this video. Just another beautiful figure, beautiful universal monster Migo figure by Migo. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.